tyre pounding. You start by placing cardboard inside the tyre, then you fill it up with dirt and you pound it until the tyre bulges. Optical levelling. This is performed to define the height differences on ground elevation. To do this, you need a dumpy level on a tripod that gives you a perfect straight line into the distance to then mark on a levelling rod the height differences. Spirit levelling. This is performed using a spirit or tube level on the already packed tyres to ensure a straight line as every row progresses. Cans are used to build some of the walls. They help fill up the mass and reduce the amount of cement needed. They are easy to lay, easy to learn, and of course, by using them, we are recycling garbage. Glass bricks. To make these, you need two bottles of the same kind. Then you cut them with a cutting disc, wash them, and once fully dry, you join them with duct tape to make sure they are well insulated from moisture. The Earthship's Mexico team prepared over 7,000 glass bricks. Porcupining. Before you add supporting cement, you need a bunch of nails around the tire so that when the cement is added, it has something to stick to. Solar panel. This solar panel is the first one out of six. Each one can generate 200 watts, so altogether this Earthship will be able to cleanly generate 1,200 watts of power without burning fossil fuels. Batteries. The energy generated by the solar panels can be used while it's being produced. To have energy during the night and when weather conditions are not optimal, we need to store that energy in batteries. Power Organising Module. This module has everything you need to manage and distribute your captured energy efficiently for all house appliances and utilities. Water Heating Panel. This panel captures sunlight in the form of heat, accumulating it. When water passes through a pipe made out of a metal conductor, the heat is transmitted to the water. System filter. Before any water falls from the gutter into the system, you need to filter it with gravel and a silt catcher to keep the unwanted solids out of the system. Cells. These botanical cells filter grey water while acting as a watering system for a fruit, vegetable and herb garden. Since it is inside the earth ship and orientated to have sunlight, there's food production year round. Also, outside planter cells use treated black water for landscaping plants. Septic tank. A septic tank separates solids from liquids and uses anaerobic digestion by bacteria to treat the black water. By insulating it and adding heat, the process is accelerated. <laughs> 